Hi, I'm Josh Bloom. Welcome to another video in the RSP Supply Education Series. If you find that these videos are helpful to you, it certainly helps us out if you could give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about a method that has been used for years to provide control and electrical control circuits by only using basic hardware and no controllers or PLCs. I am referring to Relay Logic. For the purpose of this video, we will discuss the basics of how Relay Logic works and in what types of scenarios it might be used in. We will also talk about some of the benefits and disadvantages of using Relay Logic today as opposed to another type of control hardware like a PLC. As always, the information shared in this video is intended to provide only a basic overview of this topic and should never take the place of proper electrical instruction. If you encounter situations where you have questions regarding the implementation of Relay Logic for your specific scenario, you should always seek the help of a qualified person to assist you. With that being said, let's take a closer look at Relay Logic so we can better understand what it actually is and how it works. Stumbling over my words a little bit today. It <laughs> it's enforced. To understand Relay Logic, it is important to first understand how a relay works. If you have not already seen some of our other videos in which we discuss the basics of how a relay works and in what situations they are used in, please refer to those videos as they will help you better understand relay logic. In most of today's modern electrical control scenarios, it is common to see some kind of controller or PLC that is monitoring the state of certain electrical components and also providing control over several electrical circuits as well. This controller has the ability to process the information coming in and send output commands. This is all done using some kind of programming language, like ladder logic. However, before controllers were widely used or in situations where the functions of the electrical circuits were quite simple, relay logic was used as a replacement. So what is relay logic? Relay logic basically consists of relays wired up in a particular fashion to perform various switching operations to one or many different electrical circuits. The method in which the relays are wired will impact the overall function of the control that is provided. Relay logic circuits will use a combination of relays and other components such as switches, motors, timers, actuators, contactors, lights, and many other types of electrical hardware. This relay logic control uses basic on-off functionality, which is quite simple, but can perform very complex control tasks depending on how many relays are used and the configuration of the wiring. This type of control uses different parts of the relays for different functions. For example, the coil portion of the relay can be used as a discrete input point. When the coil receives voltage, it will perform a switching operation. Depending on the relay, this might mean the relay switches just one circuit, or it could possibly switch many circuits. This switching can then control other relay coil inputs, or it might turn on a light or a motor. It all depends on the need of the control circuit. Some important things to keep in mind when trying to understand relay logic. First, is that the relays themselves do not provide any power. Power in relay logic systems has to be provided to each relay in the system. Unlike PLCs, which might, on, might only use one common power input, which can then read and actuate many other inputs and outputs. Relay logic requires power to each relay in order to function properly. For example, in order for a relay to actuate properly, power needs to be provided to the coil and to the switching portion of the relay. When relay logic is properly understood, it is surprising the amount of control that can be achieved. It is very common to see relay logic being used in safety control circuits today because of the added safety measures these systems can provide when working with potentially dangerous pieces of electrical hardware. By understanding how relay logic works and why it is used, you will be able to more safely navigate scenarios where this method is being utilized. Whether you are implementing a new relay logic system or working with an older system that is utilizing this type of control, it is impressive to see what can be accomplished by simply using a set of relays in a specific configuration. 
For a full line of Relay hardware, as well as thousands of other products, please go to our website. For more information or other educational videos, go to rspsupply.com, the internet's top source for industrial hardware. Also, don't forget, like and subscribe.